Hello friends, we are going to check with the customizable buttons uh, on uh, Nikon Z50 camera uh, which we can uh, customize it uh, for uh, quick access during the photography. We can app, uh, reach out to various functions uh, through the uh, settings menu but uh, many a times uh, going through the several different pages of the menu it's not uh, uh, very feasible the time is not enough uh, uh, to catch up with the crucial moments so it is uh, that is why uh, the various customizations uh, that are offered by nikon z50 camera they are quite remarkable so uh, let us observe what are the various uh, customizable buttons that are available here uh, uh, first of all uh, on the front side if you observe uh, here uh, just besides the grip between lens and the grip area there are two function buttons function 1 and function 2 ok so these function buttons uh, we can uh, uh, while holding the grip one can uh, press it with one of the fingers and adjust the command dial in order to adjust certain parameters right so we can press it and then adjust the command dial like this either the front dial or maybe the rear dial while pressing the button similarly the second function button this also can be accessed with some other finger and we can press it and adjust command dial and uh, we are able to uh, select a suitable parameter which we want to adjust uh, while taking photographs and all these changes uh, they will not require us to go through the menu in detail uh, while we are on a photo shoot uh, apart from the uh, uh, these two function buttons right uh, we also have uh, other customizable buttons uh, like here on top uh, we have uh, this uh, video record button right so generally in the videography mode this button is for uh, uh, video recording right but uh, during the photography mode we can customize this button as well with several different functions as per our requirements now let us come to the back side on the back side uh, uh, we can observe this is a conventional layout right and within this also uh, there are several buttons uh, like this one okay this is uh, uh, exposure uh, auto exposure lock auto focus lock this button can also be customized to some of the functions other than what it is represented here on the uh, a button itself okay a e a uh, a e l a a f l as it is mentioned uh, further uh, we have got uh, this navigation dial and this uh, reset button or okay it is mentioned this also can be customized according to the requirements so we have four to five different uh, buttons which we can customize and in this video i am going to show you uh, how to customize function 1, function 2 buttons right through the settings menu and uh, how to customize uh, this video record button during the photography mode so that we can uh, conveniently use it uh, for our purpose right ok so let us uh, select uh, how we can operate those customizable buttons and check with the actual uh, settings Uh, we are going to check uh, how to customize uh, the various uh, function buttons that are available on the camera body as per the uh, requirement of the individual photographers. So this uh, Nikon Z50 it provides uh, a high level of customization uh, usually not observed at the entry level DSLR cameras and it gives a tremendous flexibility in terms of choosing the uh, uh, wide balance in terms of choosing the autofocus mode and in terms of choosing the autofocus uh, uh, points and other options so we can uh, customize it let us observe how to do this 
so currently we are in the photo shooting menu for customizing we have to uh, move down all the way into the custom settings menu so once we are in custom settings menu right there are various options uh, we have to move all the way down to custom controls so is a the f option that is controls see that there are two different options which we can customize uh, one is with respect to the uh, uh, controls during the photo or photography mode and other is during the uh, videography mode so let us uh, observe this particular option first uh, within the uh, customizable options uh, we can cu customize uh, many different aspects in this uh, right from uh, the customization of i menu then uh, other uh, physical buttons which are available so let us observe what different buttons we can customize we have to go to these second option that is uh, custom control in the shooting mode shooting uh, mode let us uh, click on this let us observe uh, that it is giving us uh, the graphical representation of uh, location of the buttons which we can customize currently function one button which is just uh, between the grip and the lens on the front side of the camera it is function one uh, let us uh, try to click on this button it is highlighted on the uh, diagram which shows the location and it also it is highlighted on the right hand side so as i click on this uh, it currently shows that it is set to the focus mode or auto focus area that we can choose using this button okay so uh, uh, by default it is set to one of these values but uh, we can have different options so i'll just uh, scroll through those options as i move down okay so i come to the very top of this particular options page okay so it gives options to uh, use function button to select the auto focus to enable the auto focus that can be a function that can be assigned or maybe auto focus lock exposure lock okay uh, exposure lock and release right only exposure lock lock and hold so these are various options then auto uh, auto focus as well as auto exposure lock button in case the dedicated uh, AE AF button is not assigned some other function so this function uh, this will not be required if that function that button is assigned some other function then we can customize okay so that is I scroll down to the second page then here we can see <coughs> this uh, uh, flash compensation this uh, lock we can have right <coughs> If you want to know about this we can just click on the question mark and it just indicates what is it isn't it so this is mainly related to the Nikon creative lighting system uh, mainly related to the flash output we can uh, also select flash on off whether we want to keep the flash on or off that can be immediately selected by pressing function one button in the real time it is a quite a uh, time saver because we don't need to uh, dig deep into the menu it is available handy with the function button similarly we can choose preview it shows how the photograph will look uh, once the exposure is set right then there are various bracketing modes right exposure bracketing then uh, uh, active delighting but bracketing various bracketing modes we can choose from here we can choose the type of image to be saved whether it is to be saved with raw or only the jpeg format then subject tracking tracking subject tracking can also be enabled here then framing grid display can be enabled then uh, we can zoom in and zoom out and we can also uh, uh, enable function button to directly move to the my menu so these are various options which can be chosen we can we can choose the image quality and size we can set it to select the white balance we can set it to the picture control so all these various options we can even set the type of metering flash compensation mode then uh, uh, the release mode whether it will be single release or maybe the burst release we can select the autofocus any one of these functions can be assigned uh, and it can be 
used as per the requirement so this this gives a tremendous flexibility so currently uh, it is set to the focus mode so auto focus is very important so we can just click okay to this so function 1 is assigned auto focus in a similar manner function 2 button we can just uh, click okay on it uh, you can see on the left hand side the lower button between the lens and the grip again all those options are available for enabling it here right so currently i have set it to white balance then it is possible even to assign some function to the uh, auto exposure lock and auto focus lock button we can click okay on it so various options are available but uh, these options are uh, relatively limited as compared to that of the function 1 and function 2 buttons there are only 6 to 8 options here in the other case there were only 15 to 20 options so of course uh, uh, we keep this as it is similarly we can uh, assign some function to this uh, ok or reset button so these options either to zoom in to a particular point or select center focus point so we keep this by default as it is then the movie record button this can be custom customized uh, for the photography purpose uh, uh, again this offers many more options as we scroll up we can see various options are available for the movie record button we can set my menu then uh, uh, picture control various options are there so for uh, uh, my interest i have set it uh, for the purpose of zooming on and zooming off uh, on to during the uh, focusing okay uh, in order to fine tune the focus so of course uh, these options uh, these are available let us go back to the menu similarly it is possible to assign some function to the buttons which are available on the lenses some of the lenses uh, in the uh, nikon z lineup which are coming up <coughs> they are uh, having uh, digital buttons available with them and it is possible to assign some programs or some functions to those as well so in this case uh, i am not using any such lens here for the demonstration but these options are there with respect to the uh, lens button as well right so this is how we are able to customize it and uh, once customized uh, let us uh, observe as we are done with the uh, settings in the menu we have customized uh, uh, three buttons here right function one for autofocus area selection and autofocus mode selection then function two button for uh, the uh, selection of uh, white balance and then video record button it is set uh, during photography in the uh, zoom selection button or zoom in zoom out onto the focus point or specific area so let us test these functions one by one uh, i am just uh, putting this camera on and we can just check it is in currently in certain auto focus mode so when i press function one button kindly see the right hand side uh, uh, functions that are displayed so they will turn yellow so kindly pay your attention af autofocus auto mode is selected currently and uh, along with that <coughs> we have the area mode of uh, the complete frame area mode is selected for the selection of auto focus so when i press function button kindly observe that some of the features written on the right hand side in the vertically uh, strips the functions in the camera that are enabled they are turning yellow so while pressing function bu button function one button i'll be uh, rotating the real command dial so when i rotate please observe the change that will be visible here uh, as the autofocus mode will change so as i rotate now it is going to afs afs means autofocus with the uh, single uh, uh, on a single instance single autofocus right if i rotate further 
it will move to auto focus continuous so these are the various modes but we are able to select them quickly while photographing a subject i am pressing function one button and i am rotating the dial rear dial and see that i can now move to the manual focus mode as well so with manual focus mode i am able to see certain red colored uh, uh, focused area which are sharply in focus they are called as peaking highlights again i rotate again i come back to the original mode so let me show you again function one button is pressed and while pressing it i am rotating the dial so the auto focus mode will change from auto single continuous and manual and again back so this is how we change please observe while keeping the same function one button pressed if i try to rotate the front command dial okay function one button is pressed and i rotate the front command dial so this time we are going to see the autofocus area that will be changed and that can be selected so please look at the element that is changing on the right hand side earlier it was area <coughs> now it is a single point autofocus again i rotate the front dial it becomes a uh, single point autofocus with nine wrap around points then this is a wide area autofocus with a small selection wide s then next is wide area autofocus with larger area covered right and again back to autofocus area mode again i will repeat this pressing function one button i am going to show you just observe the autofocus points or area selection single point nine point wrap around wide s wide l and area again so by pressing single function button i am able to select two different aspects related to autofocus both the autofocus mode and autofocus area so this is the advantage of uh, customization of function buttons now let us try function 2 button so in the camera i'll just uh, press function 2 button and again we'll adjust the rear dial so as i click function 2 button now it shows wide balance can be adjusted currently the wide balance is set to auto so it is showing a and it is highlighted by yellow color if i rotate the rear dial while holding function 2 button i can choose wide balance a1 okay or i can choose direct sunlight wide balance you can see the same thing is reflected uh in the emulation of white balance of the picture so those changes are reflected then white balance uh <coughs> white balance for for cloudy day maybe white balance inside the shade white balance with incandescent lamp so this way we can just uh, white balance uh, customizable then with flash then with uh, the temperature then preset value and again back so i am pressing function 2 button and i am trying to adjust the wide balance by rotating the rear dial what will happen if i try to rotate the front dial while pressing function 2 button so it it doesn't have any effect because in wide balance there are no further settings to be selected only wide balance options they can choose so let us uh, put it back and we are able to see these changes rotating the dial and adjusting white balance so this way we can adjust the white balance settings by function 2 key right now let us see the third option third button that is customized or can be customized video record button for zooming on to a particular object the same aspect i'll be explaining in a separate video how to have accurate auto focus using this feature so let us say i am looking through this picture and i press 
the movie record button once so it is zooming right so i can adjust the frame of my camera i'll just point my camera and press shutter release buttons slightly okay so we can see we can zoom on to a particular object and focus it clearly if i press that movie record button again it will zoom out right again we zoom in and zoom out so these are the customizable functions that we can achieve using nikon z50 customization feature thank you